How's it going? Yeah, what are you doing? I'm Sunny Rockford, Illinois. Yes, I sound sarcastic, but I actually really love this town. It uh, it has meant so much to me. When I first um, got clean and sober, I came here in 2007, and I stayed here for the next 10 years until I moved to DeKalb with my kids. But now that I'm in Rockford, I'm eyeballing some dumpsters. Yes. All right. I got to go to my doctor's appointment, but I think I'm gonna hit some dumpsters on the way home. And also, I got a video going of a new channel. Yeah, I like. I mean, I'm not really watching the video; I'm just listening to it. But I sure do like new channels. Yep. All right. VA outpatient clinic here in Rockford, and I always just get this feeling. It's a humble feeling walking in here. Um, there are a handful of World War II veterans. Um, they're in their 90s, and and uh, there's some uh, Korean War veterans, and uh, a lot of the Vietnam era um, veterans. The majority, though, are the the Gulf War, um, and then the subsequent um, war, you know, a decade later in uh, um, Afghanistan and Iraq, and that's. Um, it's just humbling coming in here and and seeing even in my local area what the the what our military what our warriors um, went through um, in this in the world it's kind of a windy day but I'm walking with the wind right now so it's probably not very loud so yeah the Rockford outpatient Clinton of the VA somebody gave me an awesome idea they said Paul get some small band-aids and you can place them on the corners of your GoPro where the, the microphone is and that'll reduce the wind noise. And th that's like the best suggestion I have ever heard because that's what you need is something just to break out, break those eddies, those little currents of air that causes those little whipping sounds. Um, a lot of people said, oh yeah, just take the earpiece off of a, a old headphone and, and glue it. And I'm not putting any super glue or any glue even close to this, uh, this GoPro. But um, I'm gonna use those little Band-Aids and that's gonna work perfectly. All right, let's go hit the appointment. Hello, sir. All, right, all wrapped up with my appointment. And I'm here in Rockford, so I'm gonna go have lunch with a friend. Yeah. All right. But I think I'm gonna go look at a couple dumpsters on the way so yeah I'm gonna have to look at some dumpsters or some scrap because that's an empty truck that don't work no you fill it up do a little bit of scrapping see the Rockford rescue mission van right there yep I was impatient in that recovery for 18 months yep so um, from summer of 2007 to basically January 2009 I was uh, yep, getting treatment for a horrific addiction so if you folks find yourself in a position of an addiction by all means seek treatment you can recover I see it all the time now I'm gonna hit I don't know should I hit a neighborhood or should I I'm not really sure Oh, Rock Valley College, yeah. Let's go see what the college... Yeah, so I went here a couple of semesters. Got, I don't know, 30 credits probably. Yeah, very nice school. One of my favorites. Yeah, Rock Valley College in Rockford, Illinois. Super awesome college. I like colleges way better than the four-year university things. Oh, way better. All right, I'll fire this up when we find some. So I went to the school for two semesters and I don't even know where the dumpsters are. Yeah. So 
this is the building for science and math. I spent a lot of time there. I had to start at the most basic math classes uh, two, three years ago, uh, all the way up. And I, I think I did six classes to get to college algebra and be able to, to get my associate's degree. Yeah, I did a lot of math in that building. Ooh, yeah, I learned it. Did you guys see the uh, Scrap Vulture's uh, latest video regarding that he can haul stuff with a, his, his two-wheeler um, more than with a truck? And he is so correct. There is no doubt about, he can hit more dumpsters, because if there's, you know, I think he said, you know, if there's, if there's hundreds of dumpsters that me and a truck, I'll fill up on the first third of the of the journey, uh, and it'll take me all day to do it. And he can go and find the gold in all of them, uh, and just leave the the low paying stuff much much faster. So, where will the dumpsters be? I'm like, this is ridiculous. So. Yeah, and also there was a commenter, you know, he, uh, he commented on Scrap Vulture's video and he was saying um, something like, he was acting like there was competition between um, some of us scrapping channels and, and we're not, we're not in competition at all. We're, uh, actually we, we, we dovetail very nicely, you know, just like, just like in music, you know, is the, is the drummer really gonna say, oh, drums are great and bass guitar is terrible? No, we're all gonna play our, our parts. And, and that's what we do, you know, in, it's, it's like an, an eyeball saying, man, you're, you're so stupid, you can't see anything. I mean, really? Are you kidding me? All right, I guess there's no, there's no dumpsters on this side. I have to go to the other side. But what I was saying about one of the commenters, he said, uh, yeah, man, I see that you make a lot more money than scrap and pallet, man. Um, and I'm not sure if the person's watched very many of my videos, but Scrap Vulture is a full-time professional at this. Um, and he is well-rounded in all the metals and eBay and resale. And I am, I don't, I scrap, what, an hour or two, maybe? Sometimes uh, in a week, I don't do 10 hours of scrapping an entire week. And he does that in, in one day. So, yeah, he's a pro. I'm, I'm pretty much a hack when it comes to scrapping. So... You know, and, and I shouldn't, I'm not being, um, I'm not really putting myself down. I'm just saying that I, I don't do it full time. Yes. And I don't really have the, the energy levels for doing it full time, but I sure do love doing it. Dumpster driving is so fun. Not dumb, uh, trash picking is my favorite. Steal and hit the neighborhoods. All right, so I think the dumpster's on the other side, so. I just drove around this entire college and the dumpsters must be in some internal area. I have no clue. Well, looks like there's a high school tour. Probably seniors in high school touring the college. It's good stuff right there. I'm not a big fan of of the corporate greed and student loans or any of that stuff, but I am definitely an an advocate for learning and bumbling and learning through through just trying to figure things out. That's valuable as well. I don't know where the dumpsters are. Wow. That makes no sense. Yeah, it must be one central building. <laughs> How could you have no dumpsters? What? Makes no sense. So a prime example of how fast Scrap Vulture can do. He would have ridden up and looked in that dumpster and have already been on his way. And I'm definitely getting out right now. taking a look and it's nothing so hey but he wouldn't have found that old hunk of junk so yeah <laughs> look at that I don't know I'm not touching it but he wouldn't have taken this big piece of, of iron anyway so he'd have been off and probably found he'd have been on his way to finding something else pretty quick What do you think? Would that be a nice uh, headache rack? I think it would. Second dumpster. 
So this says, this dumpster is the property of Kelly Williams Company, and it's for Kelly's market use only. Violators will be prosecuted. They're talking about dumping stuff into the dumpster. And dumpster divers are taking stuff out. So this is not against the rules, but it certainly is empty. So yeah, that sign was meant, don't dump stuff here and fill up our dumpsters where we can't use them. Obviously they're not talking about people taking stuff out that is recyclable and also making more room for them to throw stuff away. So hopefully, not hopefully, I, I know that makes sense to everybody. So good stuff. I think I should get some gas. Stainless steel too. Ooh. All right, I got some work. It looks like there's some electrical to it as well. All right, I gotta move a bunch of kitchen garbage to get to that thing. All right. He says dumpster diving does not work. All right, none of those guys look like they're novices. So they're, I don't think that's just for training. That's, they're up to something. Good. All right. How heavy is this guy? This could be more of a pan than I'm willing to deal with. We shall see. Whew. Bro. Where is Rick when you need him? I don't know if I can get the leverage. back on it <sighs> hmm I don't even know if I can <clears throat> nope I can't I, I, I know my limits <sighs> nope dang I want that too I want it. How am I gonna get it? If I pick, pull that up towards me, I think we'll dump that stuff off. <laughs> See, dripping all that dumpster juice. <laughs> all right, let's try it one more time. juice off of it. How's it going? Yeah, what are you doing? I'm trying to get some recycled metal. Yep, I'm in the scrapping business and that is a lot of stainless steel that shouldn't be in the landfill. Yeah, I mean so. you can get it all. Okay, yeah.
Wow, that is no joke. joke. Alright, so those legs are probably going to be grabbing. Huh. This is our OA. That's a fryer. Huh. The guy's like, yeah, if you can get it. I don't know if I can. Hmm. Attempt number two. <sighs> yeah, I don't know if I can. Think about this. And get the leverage to get that out. Oh, there's two Loves Park police right over there. Mm. Right, buckle up. Man. Yeah, I just just beyond my ability. Okay, so pulling up to this pharmacy area. Now these pallets are not close enough to this dumpster area where I feel comfortable that they really want to get rid of. So like if I had permission, like that auto zone, I would definitely pick them up, obviously. But yeah, they look too close to their area that they're not being discarded. And I only want to... Oh, are you kidding me? Hmm. Okay, it's just rainwater. But it would have gotten all over my gloves. But yeah, so I'm just trying to recycle stuff that would be thrown away. So if that's going to be reused again, that's not, that's not what I'm looking for. All right, let's see what they got. Right, did that go to something previously? Huh. What is that? guys real quick you might say no you might say yes um Can you possibly come back tomorrow i could yeah yeah all right because that's when our um Main manager's gonna right. be in. His name's Norv. Right. When you come in, just ask for Norv. Okay. And see if you can't take any of that. Right. So. Yeah. It's just you know, like I said, it looks like it's just junk. And I you don't know, know what they want to do with yeah. it. So I know okay. it's been sitting there. So hopefully he says yes. Yeah. All right. Thank so, you, sir. Yep. So unfortunately, I didn't have permission to grab some of that metal. So yeah, I had a couple, a couple fails on that dumpster in the in that uh, grocery store. So it, it it's the way it is. Yeah. If I don't have permission, I don't have permission. It's that simple. The guy said that he doesn't know what his manager, you know, has planned for that, which is fine. Um, Scrapping this area at all. I was driving by this moose lodge, and it looked like there was something by the dumpster that caught my eye. So I am curious, and it's mm, wood. <laughs> ah, dope. Yep, that thing's wood. It has some Christmas lights on it. But, yeah, what is in here? Yeah. A whole bunch of, yep. Yeah. I think I prefer uh, trash picking, definitely. One, all the bins are, you know, my size. Man. All right, it's a beautiful day. It's less windy now. It was super windy this morning. 
Yeah, crazy windy. So we just went at had lunch and she's not gonna show her face for some reason, I don't know why. But I can just do this and she'll <laughs> um, So we got something over here on the side of the road. Sitting on the side of the road. I hope your face is in the shot. Javelin. <laughs> so how's your day? My day? Yeah, your day. Not their day, your day. My day is fine. Okay, good. springs. Yep. Thanks. Thanks for recording. You're welcome. You have grease on your nose. <laughs> <laughs> There, now I don't look like a scrapper. No, you don't look like a scrapper. How do you turn this off? You can't. Push the button? Yes. Sitting on the side of the room. A lot of people want to scrap this thing out. Scrapping dogs. So, how are you liking the uh, scrap lunch? It's delicious. Jeez, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, for the scrap from going to Rockford for my doctor's appointment, going out to lunch, and uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm guessing that's probably ten bucks worth of scrap. Uh, just by going to lunch, and I mean, lunch was 14 bucks, you know, and I have a feeling it's going to actually pay for lunch, so, anyway, so I'm driving, and so I'm going to go to the scrapyard, we'll drop it off, I'll film that, and uh, we'll wrap up the video, the video from there, um, but, you know, as I'm driving, you know, because it's a little bit from Rockford to DeKalb, it's, um, you know, I was just, I was just praying by myself, I was just thinking about God and stuff like that, so, uh, you know, I decided to turn the camera on. So, Father in Heaven, just, you know what it's like for us to, to go through this, this life, God, because you, you've been a person. You decided to, to take your robe of heaven off and become a person. You, you know what it's like. God, we just need your help, because we, we can't, we can't do this uh, without your help. And you know what it's like. And God, would you send your angels just to clear the path and help us to do what you want us to do? Because you, you're the one that wired us. You're the one that made us how we are, God. Would you just make it obvious with the talents and the gifts that you gave us to use those uh, for good, use those for others? You know, 
Lord to, to love you and to love others. Thank you for sending the Holy Spirit. You know, once Jesus went up, you, Jesus said that, you know, I, I have to go back up to, for me to send the Holy Spirit. And God, thank you for letting the Holy Spirit in us just to, to counsel us, to talk to us, to guide us, to tell us what's right and what's wrong. God, that's, so thank you, Holy Spirit. just need your help for, for me to know what turn to make, what to do. And I ask uh, your help in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. Let's go finish our ride and let's go to the scrapyard. All right, looks like uh, 3,860 pounds. My uh, my girl died, so I'm using my phone to record this last little bit. So I got an awesome comment either last night or this morning uh, from uh, from a viewer that said that um, that little mini refrigerator that I had, it doesn't have Freon in it, or probably doesn't have Freon in it. And sure enough, I looked on the back and it has this system that has a electrical thermocoupler type thing and it has no Freon, so good stuff. What's up, brother? Slacking today. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going old school. I'm using my phone because I used up all my battery on my GoPro, so hopefully this works. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, this this um, refrigerator actually has a, it's electric thermal coupling. It's it's not a compressor using gas and, and how that uh, expansion and uh, evaporation works. It's also why it's really light too. I gotta get my snippers. Yep. Curious what kind of difference the, uh, the, the video and audio make using my phone. Magnet, all this stuff is definitely steel. So none of it's aluminum. Including this thing that looks aluminum, but it's not. It's, flashing, it's all steel. So nine dollars and forty-five cents. That's good stuff. So um, one thirty-five a net ton. Bummer. So it went down a little bit. Yeah. But anyway, it's all good though. I'm happy about it. So hopefully the footage isn't too much different being on my phone because my GoPro died. That doesn't happen very often. Like, yeah. Anyway, you guys be awesome, stay awesome, do your thing, and. Um, you know, thanks for, thanks for hanging out with me on this Friday.